Christian Nation. My name is W. Benjamin Franklin, and I am not a myth. I am here to say hello to you. I appreciate you having me here. Uh, a little bit about myself. I was born in California, raised in Cleveland by West Virginia parents. Dad was a factory worker. My two grandfathers were both coal miners and raised ten children families. Mom was a homemaker and now lives in Texas. I grew up in the inner city. I live in Maria now. I lived in rural Texas and I lived in the New York City area. I worked blue collar and white collar jobs. I worked for the Postal Service for 13 years. I've seen the inside of a government agency and the inside of a union shop. And I was a part-time steward in that setting. I worked in the local arts community for 20 years, so I've seen the very ugly side of the liberal world. But right now I am the very conservative guy who is on the right side of things. I sing in my church choir at Grace Church in the Wilbert Heights, and I love it. I have a broad education. I have seven years of school at Baldwin Wallace College, Cleveland State, and Tri-City. I have major studies in history and speech and theater. I have minor studies in international studies and in education. I believe that God has molded me in a very multidimensional manner. I believe this type of manner is what a representative should be. Um, how would I handle Washington legislation? This is not a problem for me. I just finished coursework in political science and psychology and education and history, and my two low grades were A minus. So give me a system to emulate, and this is not a problem. How will I handle the Washington wolves? This is not a problem for me either, folks. I fear God, not people who pretend to be God. <laughs> How do I beat Dennis Kucinich? Well, that's easy. That's something I kind of left out there. I've been middle class. I've been working class. Right now, I live at the poverty level, and this is a result from going back to school. But the benefit to the, in this race against Dennis Kucinich is I am the poor man telling the poor that the Democrats are not their friends and instead are becoming their masters. And to Dennis Kucinich, that is a bad dream. <laughs> I am an educated poor man, and that to Dennis is a nightmare. And the fact that my name is Benjamin Franklin gives me instant name recognition, folks. <laughs> This is worst nightmare. Come May 5th, when my name shows, has the showing of having the, well, the most votes in my race, what that will mean is that the, the poor man beat the machine. And to me, being the poor man again is a benefit, because that's the national headline. The irony is, being the poor man will end up getting me enough attention so that I end up with a wealthy campaign. And that's an even worse nightmare for Dennis Kucinich. <laughs> What do I bring? I bring ideas. I think feelings are great, but ideas solve problems. So I'll give you a few quick hits. On abortion, I think this can be taken down now. Roe v. Wade has wording that references current technology. And what that means is you have a case that is outdated. What we know today is more than what we knew in 1973. Give me the pen, I'll write the petition to the Supreme Court. You get it overturned, becomes a state's rights issue until such time as Congress defines life, which is what should have happened in the first place. The Supreme Court never should have touched it. Give me the pen, I'll do this. Supreme Court, 51 million, Stalin, 20 million, is a scorecard we never should have been a part of. Now, healthcare reform, or as I call it, the contract on America. <laughs> this is something, this is the prime example of the legislative process being an enemy of the legislative process. 2,000 page documents don't belong there. It wasn't meant to be that way. The process A has to be simplified. I believe you need a system where you have a primary bill with a maximum of maybe 200 pages. And then, this is why you implement six or seven main ideas, you move on to the next sessions. Following sessions of Congress, you have three amendment limits on this bill of 40 pages each, and I'm out of time already. 